Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 11th of 2021, well, it is titled Saturn at night. So what do we see here? Well, here is a view of the nighttime side of Saturn, something that we can never see from Earth. And that is because the night side view of a planet is always opposite the sun. And from our location in the solar system, from Saturn's perspective, we are very close to the sun in the sky. So we would never move very far away from the sun. That means that when we look out at Saturn, we're always seeing the fully illuminated side of it. So we could not see this view in order to see a view like this you actually have to travel out and around and behind the planet. So that requires spacecraft to be able to do that. And this is an image taken by the Cassini spacecraft which orbited Saturn for over a decade. And in fact until uh, September of 2017 when it was directed to uh, fall into the planet at the end of its mission. So that's a way of disposing of it and making sure that there were no contaminants from Earth making it to any of Saturn's moons at some point in the future. And of course, there are moons of Saturn, such as Titan, that we consider possibilities for life. So we still have images taken by Cassini and we still study them today and we get a beautiful one like the one today. And we can very clearly see the rings of Saturn uh, rings are divided into a number of different areas. You'll see some areas where there's denser amounts of particles, more particles close together and other regions where there's very few. There are a lot of gaps in the rings and a lot of structure. That is caused by Saturn's moons and gravitational interactions between the ring particles and the moons give us all of the structure that we see in the image here. And in fact, you can see very faint rings just on the inside of the main brighter ring and another very faint ring just to the outer edge. So some of them can be very faint. Some of them can be rather bright. They're actually relatively easy to see. Uh, they were able to be seen with the first telescopes in the 1600s. Galileo could see that there was something going on with Saturn, but could not see the rings. He did not have a large enough telescope to resolve it as rings, just kind of a large blob on either side of the planet. However, uh, a little while later, a few decades later, large, a little bit larger telescopes were able to resolve and show that Saturn did have rings. And in fact, until the 1970s, it was the only planet known with rings. Although we now know that all four of the giant planets actually have a ring system, although none is beautiful and majestic as Saturn's. So that was our picture of the day for September 11th of 2021. It was titled Saturn at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Salsa Verde de la Noche. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.